I hear it popping. Mmm, about to have some bacon, yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, it looks so cute. If this works, then I'ma do it. How often do you use a microwave to make meals for yourself? A microwave for meals? Maybe not make the meals, but warm them up. Well, today we've compiled some cooking hacks that all gourmet microwave chefs need to know. So maybe we'll change the way you think about cooking in a microwave. Gourmet microwave chef, I love it. So we're gonna teach you these hacks and you're gonna have to decide whether or not they're things that you actually need to know. Yay, okay, cause I can't cook. I'm excited and yes, the key word is do I actually need to know them? I feel like this is gonna be really, really helpful cause the microwave is when you don't have a lot of time and I rarely ever have time. So most of the times I'm just eating peanut butter and jelly. So actually this could help my life a lot. So first we're gonna have you ripen a banana. Ripen a banana, oh lord. <laughs> okay. Let's say you wanted to make some banana bread, but you didn't have any ripe bananas. So there is a microwave hack to ripen your banana in just a minute. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke some holes in that banana with a fork, and then you're gonna microwave it for 60 seconds. Does this really work? Because if this works, this is amazing. Die! Microwave it for 60 seconds and see if- 60? 60. You sure about that? I'm sure. All right, RIP to this banana. <laughs> Mannerisms were it's, it's, Oh, snap. If this works, that'll be, oh, sh six minutes. It's okay, we'll stop it at five. I feel like microwave minutes and washing machine minutes just always are longer. It looks like it's ripening. Four, let's count down. Three, two, one. Oh, sh Did you hear that? Banana's oozing, you know, juicy. That's how we like our bananas on this channel. Oh, that's ripe. Oh, let me tell you. Welcome to the Brandon Cooking Show. Today I'm gonna show you how to ripen bananas. It did pretty good. It smells all banana-y. -y 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 -y. <laughs> Look at it. Look how easy this peels. I don't know why this is so satisfying. It looks like a tamale and I feel very confused. Right there, caramelization going on here. Not bad. That's actually a pretty good idea. You can make some serious banana bread. I will never, ever stick my bananas in the microwave, ever. I'm gonna be a normal human and just eat my banana green. That is a hack. That's kind of nice. I mean, I, I could use this. No, I don't think this is a hack you need to know. I think I could pass on this one. Well, I needed to know that sometimes I make banana bread. This is a great way if I wanna, you know what I mean, like do it quicker. So I don't want, you know, the gnats around my kitchen and stuff. You know what I mean? Waiting on it to ripe. So next we're gonna have you dry some fresh parsley in the microwave. Ooh. You're gonna wet that parsley just a little bit. You want it to be a little damp. Okay. And then you're gonna sandwich it between two paper towels and let it dry in the microwave. Okay, so we got a little, you know, a little water action. I didn't think I was gonna be a chef today. Okay. And then another paper towel. And then that's it. And then you're gonna put the whole thing in the microwave for about two minutes. Two minutes? Girl, I could have went down the grocery store aisle, grabbed it for less than 30 seconds. Should have bought my book. Love being a microwave chef. You know, I have a book coming out soon. Microwavy Recipes with Chef Brandon. Even if it came out dried, I still would not do this. It's ready. It smells like hookah in here. All right, let's see. Oh, they're so cute. They're like little trees. <gasps> Look how dry, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's pretty dry. I mean, it does, okay, listen, it does work. You see that? Maybe I should take a container. Since I've already done this, I should take it with me. It's also a really good way to preserve an herb. So if you buy a fresh herb for a dish and don't use all of it, you can dry the rest of it and it'll stay good for longer. <gasps> oh, snap. Oh, it went right off the stem too. That's pretty tight. Okay. You got me. I'm more of a fresh parsley type of guy, but uh, you know, this is your vibe. Cool. So next up, we're gonna have you make some bacon in the microwave. Listen, I'm no stranger to microwave bacon. Not because I consume it, but because producer Jack from the Try Not To channel eats this religiously. Man, FB keeping a halal, bro. Man, shout out to, uh, dude, I'm, I'm excited. I've actually used this method before for this exact brand and everything. 
This is me at 3 a.m. Sometimes you're like, bro, I just want to f***ing eat right now. I don't have time. Just like, yo, put it in the microwave, let us do its thing. How many do you want me to put on here? However many you want. Because I'm going to eat it when it's done. I haven't cooked bacon in so long. I just go to Denny's. I'm going to set our strips apart from one another so that they can cook evenly, I suppose. And then you're going to put a second paper towel on top of it. Okay. Here we go. Here go my bacon inside here. Like I was saying, my book is gonna, is a macro recipe book. Mac, macro recipe, micro recipes for your, for your micro needs. All right, sorry. Oh, shit. I had like 30 seconds left, that's fine. No, no, that's a three minutes. I already used the oil to um, grease my hands up. <laughs> that's terrible. I don't mind smelling like bacon all day. <laughs> It's my perfume. Who smells like bacon? It's me. I hear it popping. Mmm. About to have some bacon. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What's nice about the microwave too, it's not popping in your face when you're cooking it. That's the worst part when you have to like flip it like this so you're not <laughs> getting all that oil and grease on your face. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Hope you guys are hungry because I made bacon. Ooh, it's, oh, she's crispy. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's good, it's good. I recommend it. It's so good. It's crispy. It's nice. I like it when it has no movement. That's how you know it's good bacon. Oh my God, it's so good. It's better. It's better this way, guys. All right, so I just go ahead and take that bacon from you. We're gonna bring out what you need for your next hack. Which shaken bacon? So for your last two hacks, we are going to be giving you recipes. Ooh. So first up, we've got a pretty nifty egg hack for you. Ooh. Milk, cheese. Mm-hmm. Instructions. This is all in my cookbook as well. You also, of course, have your bacon and your parsley and their salt and pepper. So you can choose whatever you wanna put in there but we also give you a recipe to follow. I'm really hoping this turns out actually really good because I feel like I would use this one a lot. Spray inside of coffee mug with cooking spray. Well, hello. All we gotta do is... All we gotta do is take our cooking spray. Dude, I'm a pro, dude. <laughs> then we're gonna whisk it until the yolks should combine. We're gonna include just a few tomatoes into the recipe. You know, just a little bit. It's bacon. Oh God. The texture of this bacon is sort of like a scab. For some fluffiness, guys. Parsley too, let's get the parsley. I didn't do that parsley for nothing. Don't forget the cheese. Oh, we're doing sea salt, eh? We fancy. A little bit of that action. You know, I do it all by hand. I'm always worried about adding too much salt to my food. And you can always add more, but can't take any out. By the words of my favorite uh, YouTuber, you suck at cooking. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Just three times. That didn't do anything because the top is on. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. All right, guys, I'm fired. I'm gonna take a fork and, uh... sorry. I'm gonna take our fork, scramble them up a little bit. Oh, I'm ready to eat this. Okay. Cook for one minute and 30 seconds. Yay! I've heard of people microwaving eggs. I've never personally done it, but if this works, then I'ma do it. We're almost there. Sit patiently, everyone. Dinner's almost ready. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, it looks so cute. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. It looks so fluffy. Right, look, look at this. I, give me an IG pic on this real quick. Oh wow, that's looking absolutely great. It's like a little, a little cake. I'm a chef, guys. You guys can't knock on me. It's fluffy. See how fluffy that is. It smells good with all the cheese. Tastes just as good if you made it in like a pan. I could make this in the mornings for sure. This would help my life a lot. I would prefer a certain way, but I mean, this is not a bad hack, especially if you don't have pans, or maybe you didn't wash your pans. Dude, just grab a mug, put it in the microwave, you're good. Life was good before this. There is no 
problem with cooking eggs on stovetops. You see the steam? I need a steam on my forehead. But this is really good. I feel like I'm on Food Network. <laughs> That's how they talk on the Food Network too. They're like, mm. Mm-hmm. You can taste all the flavors like individually and, and then at the end, it just kind of all comes together, you know? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Izzy, we've got one more hack for you. Okay. We're gonna give you the recipe. Okay. It's cake. Yes! What have I been doing my entire life? I feel like I've wasted so much time on the oven. So it says mug cake in a mug. We have this. Combine three tablespoons all-purpose flour. Let's start there. Boom, 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 boom. Cooking is so fun. Two tablespoons granulated sugar. We're gonna do like, you know, two and some, cause you know, we all like a little extra sugar. One, and like 1.25 extra credit. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. We have our chocolate powder right here. This is gonna be good. I'm taking this home too. When it comes to the chocolate, a little more is never gonna hurt anybody. Same thing when it comes to spices and recipes. I don't know what taste buds these people be having, but they don't like a lot of spice. <laughs> so it's always good to add a little more. A pinch of salt. I don't know what a pinch. Let's add a little more. Just a tablespoon of baking soda. Wow, look how it's precise. This looks just about good. Little. Bam bam. Usually you you always have this stuff, and if you just you want a little treat for yourself, you're feeling sad, have some chocolate cake. This is so nice. You don't have to make a big one. You don't have to indulge too much. Just a little indulgent. See all these powders? They're not mixed in together yet. Let's do it together. Let's. Let me just do it myself. I'll... All right, I'm gonna eyeball this. I'm not gonna be out here measuring milk by tablespoons. All right. Well, mom would disown me. Gentle. Oh, sh. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. One, two, three. Half a teaspoon vanilla extract. Wow, whoa. Hey, you know what? I like vanilla. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're almost there. Then we can mix it and put it in the microwave. I have a feeling that this is gonna taste very mediocre, but yeah, you know, I'm JK. I think it's gonna taste fire. Put it in for a minute. Let's go. I'm excited. If this works, I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm gonna keep this with me. Food is very exciting, and learning new ways to get food fast is really, really exciting. Am I chaotic because I wait for the beep? I don't stop it at one second. I kinda like, I like the chaosness of it. Like, that's great, you know? Let's everyone in the house know that like, I don't care. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Look how pretty you are. Oh my God. It's like perfect. I mean, the presentation looks horrible, but I don't care. Cause it's, again, it's the, the taste, the inside that matters. Look at that. Oh, that, yeah. I'm just gonna taste this a little. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh sh it's so moist. I'm like pretty surprised. I thought it was gonna be dry. Some really good cake, man. This I would do for sure. There have been times where I wanted something sweet and I didn't have an egg to make nothing with, but I got cocoa. I got almond flour. <laughs> I got baking soda. I got oil. I got the stuff. I'm gonna take this recipe. I know y'all got copies. So we taught you five different new microwave hacks mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm. Which one was the most useful? Everything I learned here is really useful. I feel like I've walked away with more knowledge. I would have to say my favorite was the egg and the cake. I feel like I can leave a better adult. For sure, the um, bacon and eggs, solid one. Beautiful one, especially when we combine those two together. Chocolate cake, oh my God, it's so good. I hate cleaning. The worst part about cooking is cleaning. And this is like, like one mess, you know what I mean? This is awesome. Thanks for watching us try microwave hacks on the React Channel. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Subscribe for new shows every week. Which microwave hack was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys. Hey guys, React Producer Mary here. Thank you so much for watching You Need to Know here on the React Channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another video. Bye.